I would say holy smokes, except for this month's box is based on the holy spirit and just yelling holy spirit might be sacrilegious, so we're not going to do that, we're just going to open the box. a second ago this month's box is based on the holy spirit which is like one of my favorite things ever when i was in high school i translated the veni sancti spiritus which is like the come holy spirit prayer into literal rhyming latin and then i like gave it to one of our priests because i was not trying to kiss up to him i promise anyways this box is probably one of the best because we have some of the coolest things ever starting with this cool plastic bag don't you love plastic bags number one we got a holy card because holy cards are the greatest and this has the trinity on it father son and holy spirit now the holy spirit in theology is some people consider to be the love between the Father and the Son. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. Some theologians are like, nah, some theologians are like, yes. But the Holy Spirit, regardless, is the most important thing. The biggest thing, ooh, kind of like on this medal, is <laughs> at the Vatican, they have like this kind of a symbol. It's kind of like the New Catholic Generation symbol. Um, it's the symbol of the Holy Spirit, and then this thing got spotted, but it kind of looks like the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, because Pentecost is the really, really big feast of the Holy Spirit. That is why the church started, and when the church started is when everything started, because when the church starts, then we all start, and that's when everything gets good. Now, the Holy Spirit does, the Holy Spirit gives gifts and fruits, that is usually a confirmation, but the Holy Spirit also comes down at baptism to bestow a life of grace upon the soul of whoever's getting baptized. Also, there's this really cool bracelet that was in the pouch, Let's add another bracelet onto Connor, why don't we? I swear, eventually I'm gonna have like all Catholic bracelets and all Catholic rings just from the Catholic t-shirt club boxes. <laughs> Zip it up! And look, it's a pretty bracelet. I actually really like how that looks. It has the red cross and then the Holy Spirit. And then red cross and Holy Spirit and red cross and Holy Spirit. It's actually a really cool bracelet. I'm probably going to end up wearing this one as well. And then as always, we have a super lit cross. We have Mary and receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, just like it has right there on the top, like I just talked about. Then we have bread and wine right there. And we have the um, Annunciation, which is when the angel Gabriel put to Mary and said, oh, you're going to have a child. Some people, okay, this is actually a dispute among Catholics. Some people think that the Holy Spirit is considered the spouse of Mary. But like, that just doesn't make sense to me, but I don't have time to go into that today. Okay, I have time. So basically, is the Holy Spirit the spouse of Mary? Because if the Holy Spirit was the one who impregnated Mary, then by definition, he would be the father. But like, the Holy Spirit is a different entity from God. Like, like he's a different person, not a different entity. They're all one being, but they're three different persons. And so if it's a different person, then that means that if God is the father, then the Holy Spirit cannot be the father. And thus, the Holy Spirit is not the father of Jesus. This is your one minute apologetics. Then we have a rosary with the Holy Spirit on it. This is actually really cool. Oh, look, it has, ah, it has a list of the fruits and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, understanding, knowledge, counsel, fortitude, piety, fear of the Lord. I did a video on what all of those mean, so you should watch that link in the description. Also, this is a really beautiful rosary. It's like really deep wood and it has the Holy Spirit on it. And like the Holy Spirit is lit. If you guys didn't understand, I love the Holy Spirit. I really, I don't know why, but like the Father and the Son, they're pretty legit because they're also God, but the Holy Spirit for some reason for me is like just my favorite part of the Trinity. I don't know why, just I love the Holy Spirit so much. Also, the Holy Spirit is really good for artists like myself to pray to because all of those gifts like knowledge and fortitude and piety and faith, Lord and everything, he also gives like peace, patience, fortitude, mastery. Um, and in the Bible, it even mentions the Holy Spirit giving people like discernment of spirits and like being able to tell the future, uh, prophecy, not future telling. That's like those weird people in New York. And finally, as always, a lit shirt. The shirt says, Enkindle in us the fire of your love. Again, this is the Veni Sancti Spiritus. Come, Holy Spirit, for the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and we shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. That is one of my favorite prayers back home. The priest would always get in the circle with the altar servers and the lectors and the Eucharistic ministers. Extraordinary Ministers of Holy Communion. Wow, they have a really long name. And we would all pray that right before Mass because it's like asking the Holy Spirit, hey, can you please help us to serve properly? And kindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and we shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. So we shall be created, but you will renew the face of the earth. Because like we can't do anything without God, especially the Holy Spirit is the one that when God said, I will send my spirit upon you, the Holy Spirit is what he sent upon us. Ergo, the Holy Spirit is kind of important. And by kind of, I mean incredibly important, like hugely important, like super important. This shirt is really cool. It has the Holy Spirit on it in its super almighty dove form, which is pretty amazing. Also, why is the Holy Spirit always a dove? I actually don't know the answer to that. If you know the answer to that, leave a comment down below and tell me why is the holy spirit always depicted as a dove not like not another bird is it something to do with peace maybe it's a call back to noah's ark why it's a dove i don't know but let me know if you know the answer also if you want to subscribe to catholic t-shirt club and support your local catholic youtuber i.e me then go down to the link in the description below to follow my affiliate link it won't cost you any more to buy the subscriptions but at the very least you like two three dollars go to me 
So that's very helpful because I need money because I'm poor. I wish the Holy Spirit had like a gift of just money giving. That'd be really nice. But then it would kind of remove everything else God said about like the poor are blessed. I'm overthinking this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as it was in the beginning, is now or shall be. Rise up and lift. Woo!